In this video, we're going to look at factoring a difference of fourth powers. And to set this up, what we want to notice is that the square root of x to the fourth is x squared. That comes from using the property that if we took x squared and we were to square it, we would multiply the exponents, get x to the fourth. So the square root going backwards is just the x squared. Square root really just divides the exponent by 2. Which means if we can take the square root of x to the fourth with fourth powers, we can use the difference of squares formula. In fact, we get to use it twice sometimes, so that's something to be aware of as we look at something like a to the fourth minus 16. We have two terms, so I'm thinking shortcuts. We're subtracting, that's a good sign, and we can take the square root. This is really a square hidden in there. So if we can take the square root of both of them, it's going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. Well, the square root of a to the fourth, we just said, was a squared. The square root of 16, we know is 4. Now here's the catch. The sum of squares is always prime. We can't do anything else with the sum of squares. However, the difference of squares, we can factor more. So we can factor the second guy even more. The square root of a squared is a, the square root of 4 is 2. It's going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. Now, don't lose the first factor, the a squared plus 4. Just because it doesn't factor anymore doesn't mean it disappears, it just stays like it is. And so we end up with a final answer of a squared plus 4 times a plus 2 times a minus 2. We've used the difference of squares twice. We could check this by multiplying it out. Um, probably a good way to multiply it out would be to multiply the last ones first, because that's a sum and difference. We know we only have to do the first, that's a squared, and the last, that's negative 4. And then we still have a squared plus 4. Again, that's a sum and difference, so we only do the first, that's a to the fourth. And the last, that's minus 16. And that gives us the original problem. So we know our answer is correct. Let's try another example. I'm going to buy myself some more room and just move it down, though. Let's try doing 81x to the 4th minus 256. Again, two terms. I'm thinking shortcuts. With 4th power and subtraction, we can use the difference of squares. We know it's going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. The square root of 81x to the 4th is 9x squared, both places. The square root of 256, calculator might be nice to help, but that's 16. Now again, the sum of squares is prime, nothing's going to happen to it. But the difference of squares, we can use that formula a second time. That, again, is going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. The square root of 9x squared is 3x. The square root of 16 is 4. And we have now factored to 9x squared plus 16 times 3x plus 4 times 3x minus 4. Factoring a difference of fourth powers means we can use the difference of squares possibly twice.